First, though, the community not giving up in the search for a missing 19-year-old. It's been five days now since Mia Mercano was last seen. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. In about an hour, loved ones will hold a vigil to pray for Mia's safe return after today's search came up empty. News 6 is following the efforts from the air and on the ground. Lauren Cervantes is at the place where Mia was last seen, the Arden Villas Apartments near UCF. And Lauren, you spoke with family today. What are they telling you? I spoke with the aunt of Mia Marcano, who says not enough is being done. And now she is calling for the FBI to get involved in the search for her niece. I'm calling on all research resources at this point. The FBI, we need you. We need you to look at everything, all substantial evidence that was provided so far. Simone Westmas, Mia's aunt, calling for help. She says the day's search had them walking through wooded areas around the Arden Villas apartments and within a 30-mile radius. Woodlands, rivers, lakes, um, bushy areas, dark areas, swamp-like areas. Sky 6 capturing crews in orange shirts walking around the complex where the Orange County Sheriff's Office says Marcano was last seen. Some searching with canines and at one point appearing to search a storage unit. Sheriff John Mina giving only News 6 an update earlier today. We are continuing our search efforts for Mia. We're asking anyone with any type of information, either about her or about uh, you know, the suspect that she had been with who is now dead, um, to come forward with that information. Maybe they saw them together in a car. Maybe they saw the suspect's vehicle at one point in a certain part of town. Uh, that could help narrow our search efforts. Those efforts may have also led Seminole County divers to Lake Monroe, Sky 6 capturing teams in the water this afternoon. When we asked the Seminole County Sheriff's Office if this was connected to the search for Mia, they directed us back to Orange County. Back at the apartment complex, residents remain concerned. I'm scared. Um, I'm emotional. I'm putting myself in her shoes and I'm praying that she's coming home. I have a hope that she's still out there. The aunt also telling me today that they were searching in the area of Little Econ River as well. And she says that there's another vigil that's expected to be out here tonight at 7 o'clock. For now, in Orange County, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results, News 6. Lauren, thank you. Orange County deputies say the smallest amount of information could make a big difference in this case. We have posted a picture of Mia and a timeline of everything that has happened at clickorlando.com. Search for the stories on the homepage.